ว่ากับเชิงเซนเวสหรือทับบอลเวสติ้งฟินแลนซ์ประเภทเชิญประมาณอัศวินทั้งหมด 10:40 a.m. on the Eastern Time on the 27th day of this year 2023 hope you guys have a great week so far I cannot believe Jan is almost over uh, we are technically about four days away from going into Feb already time is definitely flying uh, maybe just my schedule has been relatively hectic um, driving into how I'm feeling Uh, it's definitely scary. Next thing you know, we're gonna all gonna be, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty by then. So, time is definitely, um, you know, flying very, very fast. And on the overall market front today, it's uh, relatively muted. Uh, I would say, across the spectrum, it's uh, leaning more toward a positive spectrum. Uh, most of the news so far have been, uh, I would say. 80% positive with 20% uh, of more like just muted or some semi-negative news. And let's take a look at together on a high level, like across the spectrum. You can see that we are up moderately, uh, not really, uh, you know, driving significant pump. Uh, we're still approaching onto the 31st and the 1st, which is the FOMC meeting. Um, but with respect to recent numbers, like the key inflation numbers, the job numbers, the GDP numbers, it seems to all be, um, you know, recording uh, a historical positivity. But again, this is uh, talk about last year in Q4, uh, not the representations of the current state of the economy. So we have to see how that will translate going forward, as we are, you know, obviously listening in on the FOMC meeting coming up. Uh, you can see that also the VIX, is, which is the volatility index, the fear index, if you may, is also depreciating as well. And then take a look at the news front on a high level. It seems like um, across the spectrum is relatively muted with some positive news. You see Chevron annual profit doubled. I mean, due to the fact that with respect to gas uh, prices rising, uh, allows them to obviously appreciate the way that they did. But it was definitely more of a short term uh, affectation. And then these other news are relatively just um, nothing real specific, I would say, across the spectrum. Uh, so let's take a look at the the whales with respect to BlackRock and Ark Invest. Let's see how they have been behaving in the last couple of year. I mean, uh, hours. So it seems like Ark Invest was, uh, you know, definitely more of a sell day yesterday. Um, I think it's just like balancing their books, uh, but it's definitely more of a heavier sell on the spectrum. And then on the BlackRock, which is the key driver of the market, I would say, uh, it's definitely more of a um, heavy sell day as well. Um, so interesting uh, that they were performing this way. Um, I guess the sell day today is a moderate buy day uh, as we're shifting on to next Monday, which I believe should be a little bit more volatile than this week as we're approaching closer and closer to FOMC meeting. So let's take a look at the technical now without wasting more time with respect to recording time of 10.43 a.m. on the Eastern Time. We are at 1593, down 0.5%. You can see that clearly on the daily, we are forming a death cross, but it's relatively muted. Uh, we are still kind of elongated at 64 out of 70. So the next level of um, support is going to be somewhere around, like obviously, right, uh, at the 1550 and then subsequently 1450 and then respectively 1350 from here on a weekly you could see that we are still in need of some cross section so that translates that weeks out we should see technically a lower level knowing the fact that we have not crossed down in quite some time uh, so this is in need of some uh, correction you could see that we are quite leaped up uh, so uh, the 40 53 out of 70 as well so coming down to a lower level 40 will be um, kind of necessary on the monthly, you could see that we're kind of gliding, uh, consolidating. So um, again, right, the weekly is something we need to kind of correct. Uh, the daily is already forming some death cross. So it is showing that uh, there is some, uh, you know, need for a lower level for us to be reached. Okay. Bitcoin is also very elongated. It looks like this is an upward wedge, clearly. We are going to have a mega death cross. You could see that with this, like, this is like a whale-shaped uh, dolphin I don't know, whatever. I'm just like naming sea animal. It looks kind of like a, you know, like a dolphin or like a shark, like leaping up in from the water. Um, and you can see that we're still extremely overbought at 82 out of 70. Uh, the weekly, even more elongated. You can see that though, this is like a, I don't know, like a shrunken 
dolphin leaping. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. But anyways, you could understand what I mean, right? It's a large separation. Um, and it, it needs to cross down. So this leaped up very, very fast because Bitcoin is like one of those like mother lord that drives the market. Um, and people are also having that safe haven effect um, that, you know, the altcoin, you know, they are a little bit more risky, right? I would say a lot more risky in comparison to the to Bitcoin, which has the reputation for being the, you know, historically the uh, deflationary asset. But also, you know, it's the most reputable. Uh, so people will tend to kind of, you know, flee into uh, Bitcoin rather than, you know, obviously other assets that are still a little bit more questionable, you know, as you can understand. Um, on the monthly, you can see that we're gliding. Uh, we are slowly taking off, uh, but obviously large separation again. Uh, so we also need to fix the weekly just as like Ethereum as well. Okay. So let's take a look at index front with a 404 mark on the SPY front. Uh, very elongated upward. Uh, the daily looks quite bullish still because we are technically leaping up to the 408 mark. So we still have some room to go up to. Um, the weekly, it is still has some room to go up to. And this looks like a reverse head and shoulder, but we need to kind of fix the secondary shoulder first. Uh, head, shoulder, shoulder. Okay, so on the monthly, you can see that clearly we are still gliding right with the bounce one two three so um it does show that uh we might have some short-term run-up but we do need to kind of correct because of how overreach we are collectively so far okay so uh that's it for the shorter video hope you guys find this helpful and i, I guess i'm getting back into the game it's been a while um as you know i've been traveling quite a lot and um it's good to be home today. I'm just going to be working from home, not going out. Uh, but obviously, you know, to, tomorrow's this weekend. So I do look forward to some, having some uh, more relaxation time, I guess, in a way. But for me, it's like counterintuitive for me. So anyways, have a good day and I will check you out next one. Take care. Bye.